Donkeys movie. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Puss in Boots. Murderous outlaws have discovered an ancient power. With it, they can destroy the world. Puss, can you help us? There's no time to waste. Looks like Donkey and Puss's sidekick feud has been rendered moot as Puss has graduated to a leading role. And there's a lot riding on his furry shoulders, considering that while Pixar and DreamWorks Animation both have flagship franchises, this is the first attempt by either studio to do a spin-off. Although Pixar's Planes is coming to DVD next year. And spin-offs, well, they don't have the best track record in Hollywood. Even when they manage to break even financially, a spin-off has yet to result in a franchise of its own. That said, with the exception of Wolverine, Hollywood has never spun off a character this popular before. And Wolverine tanked largely because the creative team dropped the ball. Is Puss in better hands? The film is directed by Chris Miller, who co-directed Shrek the Third, good, has four screenwriters, not so good, and its producers come from DreamWorks Animation's TV specials department, kinda bad. Why is it that the deeper one gets into a franchise, the greater the lack of talent becomes? Would it make sense for a studio to take good care of its cash cow rather than take it for granted? But audiences are holding out hope, evidenced by the fact that Puss in Boots is tracking quite well, with the industry expecting a 38 million opening. And while that would be lower than any of the Shrek movies, it's pretty solid for what's been a week 2011. So is Puss in Boots any good? Or is an IMAX 3D computer animated movie just catnip to audiences? Let's go find out. How was Puss in Boots? Awesome. Oh, what did you like about it? Everything, the whole movie, it was just crazy. Oh, that's so cool. So I like your 3D uh, glasses. Those are just for Puss in Boots, right? Yes. So how was the movie? The movie was great. It was really funny. Um, the cats are really cute. Did you see it in 3D today? Yeah. How was the 3D? It was good. Did stuff come out at you? Yeah. How was the 3D? I liked the 3D, it was really cool. I don't see a lot of 3D movies, so seeing you know a cat movie, because I like cats on 3D, it was really cool. So are you a cat person or a dog person? I'm a cat person. Yeah? Cats all the way. <laughs> That's great. Are you a cat person or a dog person? Well, I like cats and dogs. Oh, cool. Oh, all right. So were there any dogs in this movie? Yeah. Do you think that Puss in Boots is a better sidekick or leading character? Um, I like him as a leading character and um, Katie Softworth as a sidekick. Yeah? 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 Was this like Shades of Pirates of the Caribbean a little bit with Penelope Cruz over there? Now they have Selma Hayek? A little bit. It was good to see Antonio Banderas and Selma Hayek together again. Yeah? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Shades of Desperado and everything, right? Yeah. yeah. Would you fight alongside Puss in Boots? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> so what would you tell your friends about this movie? It's cool. It's a want to see movie. Okay. I like it. I, like I, the they, they should definitely make a lot of Puss in Boots movie. Oh, you'd see that? Yeah. What would you give this movie on a 1 to 10? 10 is the best and 1 is the worst. 10. 10? I will give it a 10. Sounds like Puss in Boots' is charming audiences is overall they give the film a 10. But the theaters aren't very crowded this afternoon, so if you're in Puss's corner, be sure to go out and see his movie this weekend. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from Regal Ewok, and I hope you'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.